did you break into the business out here? Um, well, I actually started in just getting an extra agent, which is like the behind, like the, the, the everyone else in a classroom besides the principal characters. It's like the rest of the classroom. And I kind of just barely tapped into it, and then I really, really enjoyed it. So I just kind of kept getting better and a better agents and going more and more on auditions. How was that process? How do you how did you get an agent? Well, you have there's well there's a place called Samuel French. <laughs> that's a bookstore that sells like a whole huge packet of just tons of different kinds of agents. It's lots of lists. Every contact that you would want to like maybe try to like seek out, took headshots and just sent them out to a bunch of agents. And then I started off with the extra and then from there I kept booking different things and just meeting people. You kind of mingle and you make get to know, make relationships as you're working and um, from there I, I decided when I decided to do commercial work I sent it out to all the commercial agents that I was interested in and then got callbacks from them and I did like basically like what a job interview like what a normal like adult goes on for a job interview and then decided from what agent I wanted to start working for and then they started sending me out on auditions well, I grew up in a musical family, so it was very different. I didn't need an agent because my mom was a manager. She'd been in the music industry forever. So I have a, a, a really different perspective on getting into the music industry because I grew up in it. You know, I grew up with the studio in my house, and my sister had already been acting. So I kind of was more like, yeah, I kind of fell into it, and Sabrina really actually worked. So she's the one's advice you'd really take because she actually took the initiative to do it on her own and, like, went out there and got it. I kind of was just around it. She went through the whole... Um, um, you know, if someone's interested in getting the music industry, she's the one that like they had auditions for the, the group. They decided the group. They had to work from the ground up of like finding songs, getting their look together yeah, as far as, as what a group with goes. the music yeah. industry, going to labels. You know, doing the whole like musical showcase for different labels, and you know, she kind of did more of the music side where I went. I came acting. from the acting and dancing side. So, what advice do you have, um, new actors breaking into the business? What are what are some really good sound advice? Do you have for them what they need to do? Well, you need to put yourself out there, and a lot of people say that, and, and some people nowadays are taking it to a different extreme. They feel like putting yourself out there any way possible is the best way, and so sometimes they, you know, present themselves in cheap or tacky ways. And I would say that like pictures, pictures and bad things on the internet, yeah, do things that. like that. Well, I would say that the best advice for somebody who actually seriously wants to be an actor: join an acting group, join an actual class with a really good teacher, because. Agents and people and directors, they all go and sit and watch those classes, and they all are looking for new talent. Mm -hmm. And so that, that would be the best advice I could say. I would say it's along the same line, lines. It's like perfect your craft. Like for us, like we're like you know considered like triple threats, and like you that to do that you have to take as many acting classes as you can, as many dance and vocal lessons, and you know you just want to like constantly be putting yourself out there and perfecting your craft as much as you can. Yeah, my mom always said there is somebody out there that wants it more than you, that is trying harder than you, and you have to keep up. Yeah, so we definitely. I mean, I, I can. I think what's similar about the way we kind of got into it is we worked our booties off to do it like we literally like I was in dance from the second I got out of school till 10 o'clock at night I came home I'd wake up really early to do my homework um, and then you know just we really did just like that was what our lives was we or what our lives were sacrifice. and and we knew and don't listen to, don't them. Listen to them they suck let them go do other things you do what you want to do also, um, how did you land your parts for the Cheetah Girls? It was actually Weird. like a huge casting call. Like I just came in um, because it was my agent found this call that was like singer, actor, dancer, mainly dancer. When like I read the script, I thought the script was such an awesome message for girls, girl empowerment that I hadn't seen since the Spice Girls, and we all look up to the Spice Girls so much. Um, went on the audition. I went on like five callbacks. Finally met Adrian, and then met Keely at the first. Day of rehearsal. I actually um, went out for the part of Galleria Raven's part and I didn't get cast. And so, like a couple weeks later, I just been like, oh, I didn't get the part, whatever. A couple weeks later, the executive producer of the movie called me and was like, Keely, can you speak with a southern accent? And I was like, well, yeah, I could try. So that's how I ended up playing the part. I auditioned for another role and got the part of another role. <laughs> Well, that's amazing. So, is that, so now you've made it. What keeps you going? What keeps you strong in your craft? Family. Yeah. Family, Family and, and each other. Yeah. <laughs> and realizing that this is, uh, you know, 
the music industry and the entertainment industry, it is, you know, all for art and it is a craft, but it also is a business. And being able to separate the two and understanding when things go wrong that it's not because of your art, it's really the business, you know? Being able to separate that keeps you sane because otherwise you just go wacko. Yeah, I think it's awesome too to, like, we were so lucky that we got put on a project where we really clicked and, like, now we're best friends, we're inseparable, we talk 50 times a day. But, you know, we were so lucky that we were able to do that because there have been hard times in our career with the Cheetah Girls that have really could have they really could have taken us under but because we had each other and she's the only person in the world that understood exactly what I was going through because she was the only one that was really going through it but I think in the beginning when you're first auditioning you just have to know that out of every 200 calls you're gonna get 100 one call back you know and literally in the very beginning it could just be that you're a brunette and they want a blonde and I that's still get all super nervous yeah, to go on auditions like I'm like do. It has nothing to do with your talent. Sometimes it literally just comes down to the look they're looking for, and you have to stay positive. The second you get negative about it is when you need to pull yourself out and find something else to do. Hi, I'm Keely. I'm Sabrina Bryan. And you're looking at ExploreTalent.com.